Hi, myself Vignesh. I'm from Gangbo.com. Today we are going to discuss about VMware. VMware is an operating system created by a VMware, and it is one of the hypervisor. So hypervisor is nothing but it is a operating system which provides a virtual environment that we will be calling as a hypervisor. In that way, this VMware is called as a Type One hypervisor. Okay, Type One hypervisor is nothing. The physical operating system we are going to install it on a physical machine, okay, or a bare metal that we will be calling as a Type One hypervisor. So in the case, our uh, VMware as well as Citrix, this comes under the category of Type One hypervisor, whereas Hyper V comes under the category of Type Two. Type Two hypervisor means that Hyper V that we are going to install it under the Windows Server. So we will be installing Windows Server on the physical machine and we are going to enable the role that comes under the Type 2 hypervisor. So come back to the VMware. So VMware, we will be installing it on a bare metal and we will be installing the virtual machines. This physical machine we are going to install that we will be calling as a host on whatever virtual machines we are going to install inside the bare metal that we will be calling as a guest machines. That guest machines, it can be in any form so any form means it can be a windows server or it can be a linux server or even if you want you can go with the apple mac operating system macintosh operating systems so you can use uh, any, any number of uh, virtual machines that is completely depends on the physical hardware devices based on your ram based on your cpu we can create a multiple number of virtual machines this virtual machine our vmware it comes in a different different versions so earlier we have using a 3 version 4, 5.0, 5.5, 6.0. Now we started to use a 6.5 as well as a 6.7. 6.7 has, has been released recently. In most of the organizations still we are using a 5.5. And nowadays VMware suggested to migrate from 5.5 to 6.5 version. The migration process is completely different. Because in the older versions we use the, the term called vCenter. That vCenter will be installing it on any of the application. It will be installed as an application in any of the operating system. It can be a Windows or VM, uh, Linux based operating system. But if it comes to a 6.0, 6.5 as well as the 6.7, they have introduced the term called VCSA. That is considered as a vCenter server appliance. It's a dedicated Linux based operating system. We are going to install it under the ESXi host machine. Using this vCenter, we can completely control the entire environment. So it is not like that we should have only one vCenter in the one environment. We can have a multiple number of vCenter servers and we can have a multiple number of clusters. We can completely control and manage with the help of this vCenter server. The main major portion of the VMware is completely based on the vCenter server appliance VCSA. So we can create a multiple number of operating systems. It can be a Windows server or Linux server and we can manage everything with the help of this vCenter server. We can come to the network, we can come to the storage and we can completely control it. So VMware is a big topic. If you want to learn more about VMware topic, just subscribe to our channel and press the notification button. You will be getting your videos continuously.